When David stole another man's wife and committed adultery and then had him killed, what did Nathan do? Come up to him and say, God has a wonderful plan for your life. What's that got to do with anything? David had sinned against God. He had broken the commandments. So Nathan gave him a little story about a man who stole another man's lamb. And when David said, that man will stole fourfold and he will die, then Nathan said, you are the man. Why have you despised the commandment of the Lord? And David said, I've sinned against God. And then came the gospel. Then came, nevertheless, you shall not die for God has put away your sin. And we live in a nation of adulterers and blasphemers, people filled with bitterness and hatred with no fear of God before their eyes. And so to run around saying God has a wonderful plan for your life has got nothing to do with anything. We need to do what Nathan did and be faithful and confront them about their sins. And we can do it if we do it in love and in gentleness. Say, nevertheless, God who is holy and just, whose wrath abides on you, is rich in mercy and he provided a savior. God became a human being, Jesus of Nazareth, perfect sinless man, the express image of the invisible God and gave his life on the cross to take the punishment for the sin of the world. God made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might be made righteous in the sight of God. The wrath of God's law came upon him so we could have mercy.